I have no joy in saying this, but Christians are so messed up about money. And it's not just the people who believe the error that God will somehow prosper the person who gives. God does promise to bless the giver, but he promises to bless them in a multitude of different ways. I used to always say, pray you don't get the money. Fact is, is that people are also messed up about money who have none and believe that, that, that uh, almost renouncing money is somehow spiritual. We're just so far from what the Bible actually teaches about money. And so um, I prepared a whole series on this. It's God's money. It all belongs to God. And uh, how we acquire it, how we spend it, how we share it, uh, how we prioritize it in our lives, all of these things are exceedingly important. I remember being very struck by the first time I heard that Jesus actually teaches more about money than he does about heaven and hell put together, not because money's the more important subject, but until God can really get hold of your wallet, it's very difficult for him to have uh, your heart. Jesus said a man's life does not consist in the abundance of things that he possesses, but to find that life in Christ often begins with what we lay down. So without any further introduction, this teaching is as fresh as the day I preached it. It's as biblical as when I first studied it, and it's so urgently needed today. Get hold of this teaching, God's money. It will change your life forever. Praise God.